Laser engraving is a great way to make classy looking custom glass mugs, pine glasses and even pictures. But you can't just point a dart laser at glass and engrave it because the laser beam will go right through. In this video I'll show you the simplest method I found for how to get this done. Start by diluting gouache paint with some water. The mixture should be runny but not too thin. I found that adding 10 to 20% water works perfectly fine but different paints will require a different mixing ratio. Pour the mixture into a large container and prepare a drying rack. I use packing foam and put sticks in it. Before dipping glass into the paint, blow away any bubbles off the surface. I use a cheap suction cup to grab the glass, but you could just dip your fingers and wash off the paint later. Go ahead and dip the glass into the paint. Let the excess paint drip back into the container and blow away any bubbles left on the glass. Place the coated glass on the drying rack. You can do the same with glass cups and anything else you want to engrave. Let the paint dry. It should take like an hour at room temperature. We are using diluted paint so the coating ends up uniform, which also means that one layer of paint won't be enough. After just one layer, the coated glass is still pretty translucent and you cannot engrave it this way. Apply another layer of paint just like we did before. Dip, drip and dry. After the second layer is fully dried, you should end up with an evenly painted glass that is totally opaque. Engraved glass doesn't have shades, so to get good results you need to turn your images into black and white pictures. Import the image you want to engrave into Lightburn, right click on it and press adjust image. Select threshold. On the left you see the original image and on the right you'll see its black and white version. Play around with the contrast, brightness and gamma until you are happy with the black and white version. Hit OK and edit the laser settings. I'm using the Xtool 10W diode laser which has a 0.08mm thick laser beam and so I set the line interval to that value. I set the power to 100% and the speed to 40mm per second but if you're using a different laser you may need to make changes here. It's time to engrave. I use a cheap camera to align my engravings but you can do this manually as well. Just use the frame button to make sure your image is actually aligned as you planned and if all is well, hit the start button. Now that the engraving is done, you can wash off the paint with some water. I love the end results. The engraved glass has a gentle look to it, which I think is really classy. Personally, I like keeping the paint on the glass on many occasions. The image ends up looking like a negative image, which I think is really unique. Thanks for watching and if you're looking for links and free files, you can find everything down below. See you soon!